I want to contrast undefined slope and a zero slope. First, it requires a review of the definition of slope. Slope is a rise over a run on a graph if we have y versus x. The rise is this change here, is a, is a delta y, that's the rise, and this guy here is the run. It's a change of x. Next point, undefined numbers are numbers that are divided by zero. So 6 divided by zero is undefined. 10 divided by zero is undefined. Happy face divided by zero is undefined. Delta y divided by zero is undefined. If we recognize that delta y divided by zero is undefined, then we need to have a line that follows this idea to have an undefined slope. So how can a line have a change of y, a change of y, a change of y, but have zero change of x? Well, this kind of line, a vertical line. A vertical line has a change of y, it's changing its y value, but it has no change of x value. Delta x for this line is zero. A vertical line has an undefined slope. How about a zero slope? A zero slope means we have a rise at zero over a number, delta x. If we have zero rise and a number for change of x, this value is equal to zero. So what kind of graph has this property? We're going to have y and we have x. We want to have a line that has no rise. We want to have a, ri a rise a rise of zero, no change of height, but a run of some number. Well, a flat line has that property. This line here has a run, a delta x, that's a number. Number. But this line has no rise. There's been no change vertically. The vertical change, the change of height, the change of y is zero. This therefore has a rise over a run, a rise over a run of zero.